politicians are huge because we all have this internal battle going on. And I don't know if you've ever read the book called Positive Intelligence or not, but it is a fantastic thing that really dissects this. Our next guy coming up, I call him my little brother. He is a fantastic guy. Uh, he's from Russia, uh, and he has a tremendous story, and uh, he will not disappoint. I know from the very beginning of the minute that you see him on here, you're going to see some great stuff. Uh, his name is Ilya, and uh, he's presenting to us about um, how to really stop self-sabotage and start living life on another level. Uh, Ilya is a social media influencer, uh, a mentor. He's one of my coaches that coaches people with me. He, you know, is underneath my umbrella, coaches on his own, and he owns a fantastic thriving business in the ballroom dancing industry. I mean, this, this is a guy that you want to meet. Any room he comes into, he lights up the room. He's a powerhouse. Um, and he's here with us today talking about how he's defeated the saboteurs in his own life and how he can help you do the very same thing. Remember, the battle never stops. It never stops, guys. We always must be guard at the door of our mind. And Ilya is going to tell us a little bit about this. Brother, are you on here? Yes, I am. Can you hear me well? We hear you. We don't see you. What's up? Oh, <laughs> Oh, man, there's a mask for you. Is that COVID approved? Yes, this is COVID approved and Ryan Reynolds approved. He lent it to me himself. Sweet. Welcome. Welcome. We, I didn't know we were going to have Deadpool on the call. What's up? Yep. Christmas Deadpool. That's a, that's a yep. special edition. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me on the call. And um, of course, I'm going to take this stuff off and uh, let's start our presentation with a little screen share that I created for everybody. So give me a second, let's make sure that this works. Ooh. Okay, can you guys, do you see my wife and myself or the screen? Just the, the screen. screen. Okay, cool. Okay, wonderful. So um, everybody, hello. Uh, my name is Ilya Kolosov. I am Keith's um, student and friend, and I created a PowerPoint presentation for you about uh, self-sabotage and um, what it does for us how to nullify it. Uh, let's get the ball rolling. So what's up with the Deadpool? If anybody's watching, um, I created this persona Deadpool for you all to create an almost immediate uh, insight into what a saboteur looks like to the rest of the world as opposed to ourselves. Um, now that you see me dressed up in this outfit that I usually wear only for Halloween, it's easy for you to associate and create the differentiation between saboteur, and another concept we're going to learn about shortly called the stage. Um, what is a saboteur and where does she originate? Uh, <laughs> that's me. My wife took a picture of that uh, laying on the floor. Saboteur is basically a psychological defense mechanism we developed during childhood because we perceive danger everywhere. Um, so for me, for example, the saboteur that I connected with when I was younger is the, the jester, the, the clown, the entertainer. This has protected me for years until I realized that it's no longer serving me. When I did realize that it's no longer serving me, that's when the work really began. And um, I want to share with you my quick story. So I came to America in 2000 with my mom, dad, and sister. And I had no idea about life coaching or entrepreneurship or living life on my own terms in general. Uh, graduated high school in 2015, and being an immigrant, I had to crack jokes and become this insignificant, non-threatening boy uh, to survive, because I barely spoke the language, and I didn't want to get beat up. So making uh, fun of myself through self-deprecation and making gentle fun of other people helped me uh, get through my life. Until I got to college, and that's when people kind of told me to stop it because they're trying to learn. So that's when I realized, oh my, this is, this is not going to fly. I need to, I need to adapt. I need to change something. So that, that was a hard time for me. Uh, when I graduated, I started a shoe company and my saboteur evolved into this persona of this clever salesperson, which really worked for me for a while. Um, by 2016, I wanted to quit the whole thing because I got tired of it. And that's when I met Keith in 2017. That's when my life really took off. 
Um, Oh, we were doing a training for this exact thing we're doing, Undisputed Mastery in Texas, and um, he approached me and he shared with me that he's worried about me, that my saboteur is really uh, making my life almost impossible to enjoy. And that's when the real work began for me. I um, started looking into why I do the things I do and what can I do about them. Now... Two years later, I'm uh, married in a beautiful house with my wife sitting here recording me as I'm super, super nervous because I've never done anything like this before. And, um, and I'm happy. I'm happy because I started doing the work associated with the sage energy, which is the opposite of the saboteur. And here's Keith and my wife in Mexico marrying us. Adrienne was there too. Hey, hello, Adrian. Uh, everybody see the picture, right? Okay, cool, cool. I, I wasn't sure about the, um, the PowerPoint presentation, but I think this is the best way for me to deliver so much information, and I hope it's not boring. So in two days, it's going to be one, uh, going to be our one-year anniversary. I hope uh, everything will be good there. So. Why does the saboteur exist and how does he help us at all? Well, when we come to this world, everything is confusing and the saboteur helps us uh, by helping us survive. And this is basically what he tells us. Uh, we believe this because um, it gives us independence, acceptance, and security. Um, the question is not whether you have a saboteur or not, it's how strong they are. Raul talked about it about being afraid and pacing at 4 a.m. And, uh, and Bryce also talked about it as well. We all have saboteurs. The question is, which one of them really dominate your life? And that's what we're going to talk about during this quick presentation. Here are the most basic. And um, if it's too much information, Keith, please slow me down. I really try to prepare my best for this. You're doing great, brother. Keep it up. Okay, cool, cool. So the worst saboteur that we all suffer from is the judge. It's the critical voice in our heads talking crap about ourselves, others, or the circumstances. If left unchecked, this person, this character, makes the world pretty much impossible to live in. Everything becomes a very, very painful experience. Lots of solitude and, uh, and resentment towards everything, including the self. Now, what happens over time is these Saboteurs, they evolve based on our needs. The most common one being the stickler, the victim, the restless, the controller, the avoider, the pleaser, hyperachieved, hyperrational, that's my favorite, and the hypervigilant. When I say it's my favorite, um, I mean I will gladly ruin a relationship as long as I get to be right. And as long as I can rationally justify how something is inferior intellectually, uh, I'm working on that. And we're going to get to the good part. It's not all gloom and doom. On the opposite of the saboteur is what's called the sage, not the plan. That was a joke. That's my, uh, that's my saboteur entertainer coming in with this PowerPoint. So who is the sage and what are his powers? Um, Essentially, the sage is our higher self and he wants us to be happy. The five powers that the sage uses on average uh, is curiosity. Oh, got it. Please, thank you. Uh, curiosity, empathy, ingenuity, clarity, and decisive action. Now, this... Um, this is a very broad topic, and there is a, a man that wrote a book about it. His name is uh, Shirzad. Oh, where is he? Oh, sorry, I'm the host, so it's a little hard. But this man, Shirzad Shamin, who wrote the book Positive Intelligence, is the is the lead, leader in this kind of topic. Um, please, hold on, let me pause a second so I can let people in. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Uh -huh, here we go. I got it. Done. Okay. I'll let people in. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. Um, 
So Shazad is the man who really wrote this book and explains it in very good detail. I strongly recommend getting it. Uh, that's where you're going to get a lot of information. And according to him, the most effective strategy for weakening our internal saboteurs, whether we're an MMA fighter, a baseball player, a life coach, or a ballroom dancer, is to identify and separate the feelings and thoughts we get when we notice them. Now let's get to the funnest part. This is this is my personal saboteurs, and I'm being super vulnerable here, but this is two years worth of work, identification, growth, and development, all thanks to my coach, Keith Wagner. So uh, what really helped me is I came up with a persona, a name, and a story for my saboteur and for my stage. As a result of that, when either one of them is dominating, I can easily identify them and uh, not lose too much ground. I called mine uh, Truffaldino, which in Italian means scam. And Merlin, you know Merlin, he's the one that manifests things and transmutes uh, things into gold upon will. Uh, here are some qualities of my saboteur that I, have, that I was able to identify over time. And I'm going in depth here as an example, but the work that everybody on the call uh, is invited to do is identify their saboteurs what they do to themselves, and how to fight them. We're going to get to that towards the end of the call. For the longest time, I would judge everyone, including myself. I thought that everybody's an idiot, including myself, at those smallest little mess up. Oh, you, you didn't download the dishwasher, you're an idiot. And that kind of narrative really destroys a person after a while. For me, it was important to know things and be super smart and insightful anywhere I went. I felt like I had to be the smartest guy in the room. But now at 33, I realized that that's not possible and I'm never going to be that guy. Not in all the rooms at least. Cynicism and arrogance was really, really my favorite thing. If I can say something acidic and destroy someone with one comment, I would go for it. Um, I believe that hurting others is the best strategy for self-defense. Um, I guess that applies to jiu-jitsu, right? Um, but not in social interactions. Selfish, controlling, restless, deprecating. So that's my bad guy. Now, on the contrary to that, there's the sage. The sage persona that I created called the Merlin. Uh, his qualities are manifestation, transmutation, authenticity, kindness, uh, trying to be impeccable with my words, and um, awareness of the greatest goal, and all the other things you see on the screen. And this thing, ah, so how do we know which one of them is going to win is the one that we feed the most. Many of you might have heard the story of the, the two wolves, the black wolf and the white wolf. Uh, if you haven't heard it, get on the coaching call with Keith, he'll tell you all about it. It's a cool story. So, <clears throat> this Saboteur or the sage have equal power in the sense that whoever is given the most attention is the one that's dominating. It's up to us to do the work to nullify the saboteur. Because if we don't, the default setting is the saboteur rules our lives. Here's how to weaken the saboteur if anybody's interested in that. First, uh, we have to acknowledge him. And just to make a small little pause here, if anybody has questions, I left room for it in the end of my uh, half an hour presentation. So I'm just steamrolling through this stuff, but I'll help everyone uh, catch up, whoever is uh, overwhelmed. Awareness, super important part. Like when I realize that my friends are suffering because of my saboteur's domination, uh, I really was surprised. Uh, I remember it was like yesterday, my, my best friend, Nikolai, who was at my wedding, just told me to, um, to get lost. Because the only way I would interact with him is if I put him down and if he's some sort of superiority, especially if there's other people who I can embarrass him in front of. When he told me this, I couldn't believe it. I didn't know what he was talking about until I asked my wife and she confirmed it. And that really blew my mind. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. it. Took me a year to fix that relationship. But ultimately, that's the price we pay when the saboteur is ruling our lives and 
not kept in check. Uh, another thing we definitely have to do uh, is be compassionate to the saboteur. The saboteur is not the enemy, like Shirzad presents them in the book. It's more like um, a necessary tool that has become obsolete. It's like putting on a cat when you're five years old and not taking it off till 33. The cat has lost its purpose, but when it was applied, it was essential, necessary, and um, vital. So we must be compassionate to this energy. We must be grateful to it as well, because all of you on this call right now, the reason why you are where you are is because the saboteurs in you have created an environment in which you were able to survive. So again, back to the personal example. When I would come home with a bad grade, my dad would beat me. I don't know how, but I cracked a joke one day and he forgot to ask me about my grade. Well, damn, as a kid, I realized I can just keep cracking jokes and my dad won't beat me. Okay, got it. So that's the saboteur totally protecting me from external um, dangers. So thank you. Thank you, saboteur. Like, I would not have made it this far if it weren't for you in your weird way. We have to become empathetic to the saboteur. Um, I have a cat, a uh, seven-month cat. His name is Octavius. And three days ago, I got a little cat. His name is Uhtred from The Last Kingdom, if anybody's seeing. Octavius wants to kill Uhtred because he's infringing on his faith. I cannot get angry at Octavius. He's just doing what is natural to the cat. So I'm practicing empathy towards Octavius because he doesn't know how to do anything else other than do that. And the same thing goes for the saboteur. Finally, the isolation, uh, meaning we have to isolate instances where the saboteur is able to come back in uh, unhinged. For example, if I'm trying to quit alcohol, I should not have alcohol in my house. The temptation will be there. This is basically it. And, and this is daily work. This is not just like do it once and the saboteur is gone. The saboteur always comes back. Now, how do we strengthen our stage? He talked about it. Raul talked about it. And Bryce talked about it. Ritual. Our rituals is the same thing as locking the door for the night. If we leave it open, something might get in. Our rituals protect us from the saboteur energy and ensure that we actually make it to the next day. Incantation. We do a lot of incantations, and um, from baseball players to MMA fighters to coaches, incantations are the most important. I'm going to give you an example of my incantation towards the end of the presentation. Journaling. Journaling really changed my life. For about a year, I journaled every single day what I did, what I didn't do, why I did it. It really helped me reflect on my behavior patterns and nullify some of them. Meditation, that's a no-brainer. And coaching, of course. If it was not for Keith Wagner three years ago, there's no way I would be giving this presentation. In fact, I'm so nervous, and I don't know if you can see it, but this is not something I've done in a while. Just staring at a screen without any feedback, hoping uh, you guys are getting some positive uh, thing out of this. I don't hey, know. pause you for a second, brother. Let me read you Thanks. some of this. Love this. Woo! Bring it on, Merlin from Lois. Uh, wow. Screenshots of everything from Coach Maximus. Great information, Merlin. Keep it coming from Joey. Um, you are a magician. This is great information from Lorette. Love this from Randy. This is gold for everybody at any stage of life. I hope we can have a copy of this information later from Shaheen. Wow, man. I don't know. Are you going to receive that as love? Can you receive that? I, I'm receiving it. I'm, Tell me I'm what spell it. Merlin's going to make up with that one, with all that good love coming at you. What am I going to do with it? Yeah. Um, I'll transmute it, share it with as many people as I can, and uh, ask for nothing in return. Because That's right. That's you, how it works. You're doing great right now. You're, you're killing it, bro. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. I, I was worried that this might be boring. But all right, let's keep going. We're almost done, by the way. Speaking of, whoever is listening right now, I wanted to leave this little uh, nugget over here. 
some of you left, Adrienne, I see the back of her chair. Um, some people are thinking about what they don't like about me or the way I speak. Uh, and I guess the exercise here is that observe it. Yes, sure, I may not be everybody's cup of tea or the pounds I put on during COVID make this suit look silly, but that's not the point. The point is the saboteur is always whispering things into our head unless we um, are aware of it. And this has ruined my life for years. Uh, whenever somebody's talking, I don't care what they're saying. I just want to stick my smart thing into it as soon as I can. So if your saboteur is active right now, uh, forget about me. Just try to acknowledge it. Try to give it space. And um, my wife and I practice this all the time. So when I am being some sort of aspect of the saboteur, she'll politely and gently bring it to my attention and uh, vice versa. It, it's really... It's really a game. Can like you spot it, you got it. If anybody knows this game, we do not see annoyances in other people unless they exist in us. So let's get to the fun part, and, and then I am done overloading with information. There's three tools that I want to share with you that would help you strengthen your sage. First one, the most powerful that I did with Keith is called the essay, meaning a very detailed explanation of who is my saboteur persona and who is my sage persona. Read it weekly, identify with it, pay attention to when you're being one or the other, reward yourself or correct yourself based on the feedback you get. The second tool that really works for me personally is daily rituals. We covered it a little, a little bit. Why are rituals so important? And this took me years to understand. Uh, if I do my rituals, I have self-respect. I made my bed, I brushed my teeth, I exercised, I prayed, and I planned my day. No matter what happens, I already did all these things that make me feel good about myself. So I'm a winner in my own mind. Um, also, it protects me from the seductions of the saboteur. So if I do not go to the gym, there's my PlayStation ready to go. But if I already went to the gym, then I kind of don't feel like doing anything else because I'm already off to a good start. And it creates discipline that guarantees me growth. And as we know from Tony Robbins, the two needs that guarantee happiness is growth and contribution. Everything else is just survival plus. These are my three daily rituals that I learned from Keith called the EGT, exertion, some sort of physical workout, could be a walk, could be gym, could be jiu-jitsu. Actually, I'm a blue belt, Bryce. One day when I'm in Arkansas, you're going to teach me something. Please. Um, the gratitude, three things I'm grateful for, and specifically why. Uh, I, I learned this little trick. If I don't write what, what I'm grateful for and why, then it kind of loses its potency. And, and prayer. What do I want to happen today? I, I, I ask for it to happen. May it be so. Whew. The final uh, overhaul tool of the stage is the incantation. So for a year, I would repeat a formula. I am my sage name, quality I want, number one, number two, number three, and some sort of higher ideal. Um, we can make your incantation in a, mid, in a minute, but this is mine for an example. I am Merlin, a self-loving, authentic, relentless man of integrity. Uh, it took me months to learn this, but now I, if Maria wakes me up in the middle of the night, she's like, what's your incantation? I'll just, oh, Merlin, so long, relentless, man of integrity. Like, it, it's not an effort anymore because it's just so drilled into my head, and that's what we must do um, to defeat, the, uh, not defeat, we'll never defeat the saboteur, to weaken the saboteur. And um, on a final note, just do these little things on a daily basis if you want to catch the saboteur and strengthen the sage. Uh, observe yourself, judging, abstain from self-abuse, replace whatever pattern you identify as poisonous, uh, some sort of external leverage like coaching, and uh, understand why are you being cynical and nasty to other people. Whew, that was a lot. <laughs> so my final thought is here by John Milton, a quote from his awesome book. 
The mind is its own place, and in itself can make a heaven of hell, a hell of heaven. Our perception determines the quality of our lives, and it's easy to change it once we know how. Thank you, and welcome to my TED Talk. My name is Ilya Kolosov, and if you need to connect with me, those are my credentials right over there. All right. Now, questions and answers, if anybody has any. <laughs> well done, brother. Just look over there at all the comments. You rocked oh, it, man. Thanks. Great info. <laughs> man, I'm so proud of you. Way to go, bro. Way to go. I know you're a little bit nervous, but that's all right. That just means you care. And uh, so way to go. Um, take a look at all the comments over there and some questions. Just scroll oh, down yeah, through. Okay. I'm, I'm, op I'm opening up. Thank you. And I made your host again. Oh, well, there's a lot of questions. Oh, I don't see any questions. <laughs> Well, there's, there's a few questions over there, lots of praise. One of the questions was, will you please share all this fantastic information with us? Yes, of course. Uh, I'll send this um, uh, Google PowerPoint that I made to everyone. Uh, I'll send a link in a minute into the comment box to check it out. And that's my credentials right there. Uh, you can find me on Facebook or email me. I'll share with anyone, whoever needs to hear this. I've been doing this work for two years. I'm pretty good at it, so I can help. Good, good. Yes, you are. You're really good. And Ilya's wife will be presenting something coming up for us as well. And uh, Ilya, you ought to see him in action, guys. He really does a good job. And I can tell you, brother, I am so proud of you, the way you have transformed, and you are someone who helps tons of people. And uh, you are. You are a man of your word. You are the Merlin. You can make magic happen. Anything you want to say Thank to you. us be before we go? No, I just want to pull out my sword. Can I pull out my sword? Uh, depends on which sword you mean. Those swords, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, um, no, these are real swords. Um, what I want to say is the same thing all the other speakers said so far. Uh, I'm extremely grateful to be blessed with a coach like he and that I can deliver my discoveries to the people that are willing to hear them. There was a time in my life where saboteur is all I've known. And now that I'm growing my stage day by day, life is uh, uncomparably better. Like I have a house, okay? I've been renting from my whole life. Uh, thousands of people's lives have been changed because of my transformation. So. As you started this conference, Keith, the only thing I have to say is thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Let's hear it for Ilya. Way to go. Woo! Way to go, guys. Way to go. Beautiful. Thank you, brother. And so all these videos will be made available on uh, uh, Conquer You. That's Conquer University, like the Conqueror, you know, one of my partners, the, the, the boxing champion. We'll see some videos of him coming up later. Um, uh, you just look on that website. We've posted it, undisputedmastery.com. It'll be right there for you. But way to go, Merlin. Thank you, sir.